Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you are having a gorgeous afternoon. Now, Reno Horn is a photographer and an artist who decided to take matters into his own hands by opening up his very own art studio called Art for Art. And he joins us today to chat about the inspiration behind it. Welcome to studio. Thank you for How having me. How are you, my darling? I'm well, and you? So Reno and I became friends when he moved back to South Africa in 2008. And eight. And I mean, you look the same, you're still as gorgeous as ever, and so talented. You've got the most beautiful eye for art. I remember you did my makeup before. And it That's was just, correct, yes. You've got a great eye, and Thank now you. you're taking that eye and putting it all together, curating an incredible art gallery. Why did you decide to do that? Well, um, coming back from London, I, you know, as you know, I was a photographer in London and I studied hair and makeup as well. Yeah. And m the natural progression for me was from photography into art. Yeah. I've always been a creative person and love to uh, to make things beautiful. Yeah, you do. So, uh, yeah, I started doing art photography instead of just normal fashion photography. And then yeah. from the art side of it, I then, uh, from the art photography side of it, I then went into normal art as well, where I started picking up my brushes again after a long time and I started painting again. And, and I thought, well... This is if it. I, if I can do it and I start exhibiting my work, then there's mm. a lot of other really, really talented artists out there yeah. who need a, who needs a platform to showcase. And you said them. a lot of artists actually yes. struggle because of the financial Absolutely. constraints of being yes. in different galleries. That's Tell me correct. a little bit about that. What I mean, what does a an artist have to do to be part of a gallery? Well, you have to have a certain amount of talent when it comes to art, obviously. Yeah. But you know, there's been a couple of artists who have approached me who haven't had much experience, they amateur artists or they completely yeah. unknown artists. I had one uh, guy who came, who literally came off the street into my gallery and said to me, listen, I, I, I want to do art and I'm a digital artist. Um, would you like to have a look at my work? So I did and his work was absolutely incredible. Really? But because of socioeconomic circumstances, you know, or mm. um, a lack of funds or whatever, he wasn't at that yeah. stage mm able to produce his work and then have it framed and, and you know, the, all the things yeah. that you need to be exhibited in the gallery. Exactly. Um, so we made a plan and, I, you know, we had, it, we had it printed and we had it framed and it actually his pieces sold yesterday, all four oh, wow. his pieces. A German tourist came into the gallery, liked his work so much, oh, wow. bought all four pieces Lovely. and um, he's as happy as Larry. So I just nice. feel like that is such a beautifully created moment for him, um, yes. of course, going into 2020. And are these the types of artists that you love working with? How do you ensure that the quality of work remains so high, especially when you're continuously sourcing from different types of themes? Well, the thing is that there are so many different artists, whether it comes, whether you're a, a photographer or you're a mm. painter or you're a sculptor. Um, and as I said, there are so many amazingly talented artists mm unknown artists mm. in this in this yeah. in our in our whole country you know and i always say come and show me your go and show me your work yeah. if it's if i find it suitable for a gallery at the end of the day wow. i still run a gallery so exactly. you know work needs no, to be, be good. yeah well good but also in a, in a sense it needs to be yeah, it must have some kind of artistic value yeah. mm. um, so i say to them come to the gallery come show me your work i if I like it and I feel it's suitable for the gallery, then we'll we'll put it in the gallery and we'll try and and help you break into the industry. You know, I I want to create a platform for these unknown artists where they can find a place where they can finally exhibit their work. Because most other galleries won't touch them. They, you know, they will yeah. not exhibit an artist's work if they've not previously had exhibitions yeah. under their belt exactly. or exposure, they don't have a big name or they already. don't have a big name. So tell us a little bit about some of your artists. What can we expect when we come and visit Art A little art? bit of everything. It's yeah. a very eclectic uh, mix of art in my gallery. I, I have a couple of photographers. We have a, um, we have a very talented older lady. Her name is Betty Kutsia Lambrecht. And she is incredible. She started at the age of... 60, she started, she decided she's now going to start doing photography. And wow. she happens to live right across the street from my gallery. And she popped in the one day also and said, Here's Here my I work. am. And I was like, are you, are you serious? Have you only done this for a few years? And, I, and I've put her, in, uh, her work up in the gallery. Then we have um, a, a sculpture called Geo Stradom. You know, he's, he's recently started a bit of um, clay work and, and, and sculpting. And he 
approached me as well, or actually I approached him, and I said to them, bring your work, bring let's it put it up, oh, up here. You know, there's, there's never, never any guarantees with, uh, with having art in your mm. gallery. You can't guarantee that things are going to sell or that everyone is going to like the yeah. same thing. What I like or what, and what you like, of course. someone else yeah. does Might not, not like at taste. all. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. In a room full of art, I'd still look at you, my darling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to visit. You're so Always welcome. such a pleasure seeing you. I can't wait to come and see the gallery. Oh, please do. Oh, it's going to be art such a art. treat. Now, mm -hmm. get ready for a really exciting fashion showcase as we gear up for all things 2020 Sun Mate after the break.